in a prop baits, you know, we just got back from ICAST. We were out there last week, Vance McCullough and I were, and prop baits were a hot little bait that a lot of companies were kind of, you know, reinventing, so to speak, and really pushing. Yeah, I don't doubt it because, uh, you know, Brian's Bees had a, had a real nice, has the, the nicest bait out there. Then they were uh, used up by Lucky Craft, and then I'm sure all the other companies, and basically everybody that walks in their stores wanting to see the new prop bait. You know, I've got berries over here and, and beautiful baits. They didn't stick around for probably a week, and they were gone. So, I mean, you get I get a few little handmade baits in, and uh, it's just too slow to... You can't make a living with them, but you can, you can sell them, and, and guys love them, and they do catch fish. I'll tell you one thing that we noticed out there, too. Uh, you know, obviously a lot of new rod and, and reel introductions, but Daiwa came out with that new T-wing bait caster that really seemed to have the energy of the show behind it. You know, you can cast farther with that, that reel. It's extremely lightweight, durable. Uh, it's a high-end product. It's certainly not a, not a low-end bait caster, but, uh, I mean, even all yeah. the, all the outside reps walking around the show were talking around about what this T-wing can do for the, uh, tournament angler. Well, you know, back, that was, believe it or not, back in the 70s, they had a, they had, and T-wing means the eye, the eye that lines the line onto the spool. It's spread out where the line can have a little bit more flexibility than just a teeny hole that the line goes through to go into your bait caster. But back in the 70s, they had they had a bait caster that had a line line keeper or the level wine that goes back and forth. They had one that separated totally. I had 14 of those reels, loved it, and I used them for 25 years, and then I switched off. I hadn't really found anything to replace it. Maybe this T-wing will do it. But it, they, they, they've had this idea before. This one that they just came out with now is a lot less mechanically uh, complicated. complicated like the ones they had in the PT-10, the PT-15, and the and a couple of the PR reels they had. That's interesting. Well, I'll tell you what, they're really excited about it. They also got some new flipping rods that Vance McCullough was extremely bullish on. They're very competitively priced. I want to say MSRP was $69, $79 for these rods. Yeah. And Daiwa, you know, with a product line like they have, to have a price point there should be really, really good. We also uh, we cover a lot of, of videos, which people can see online, that we're posting up two or three a day in some cases. So it was a lot of fun. We missed you out there, but... Uh, Hey, that's what we do this time of year is tournaments slow down. We start looking at what's coming out for 2012. And, you know, the fishing business, the tackle business this year is better. Uh, nobody's saying it's great or, or 06, 07 levels, <laughs> yeah, but great. it's better in 09 and 010. Yeah, it is. It is. It's, but guys have been fishing. I mean, they hadn't been working. They've been fishing, and that's really good. I mean, uh, beats sitting around, not doing nothing, but uh, the economy's getting a lot better, and we're all we're all expecting a great year for next year. Absolutely. Well, I'll tell you, the weights this year have been pretty steady. One other tournament that's going on this weekend that we just followed because the weights have been so incredible is the uh, Chattanooga Bass Association has another night tournament on Chickamauga. That lake's full of grass, and it's been taking 25 pounds every single tournament out there to win that thing. Well, I don't doubt it because just like I was saying a little bit earlier, these fish, they'll move into places where water's moving a little bit, and they got cover, and they can get out of the daggum sun, and that's where I've been in the sun. Uh, I was hunting any little piece of shade, so I'm sure the fish are looking for any little piece of shade. Yeah, no, there's no doubt about it. Hey, man, good seeing you, and uh, that's going to wrap up week 25. I can't believe we've already gone through 25 uh, weeks of tournaments, but we got plenty more to come. Uh, let's follow the FLW this uh, weekend on Pickwick, pull for the regional anglers that are down there. Robbie? Thank you, and folks, we'll see you next week.